You know, we distribute in January, in April, in August, and October and December. This is just the, the first uh, distribution. And we are hoping that we are not going back. We are hoping that if we get the uh, support of the police, and we are now talking with the Ministry of uh, Interior and National Government, and uh, uh, CSK Thure Kidiki, who still with the support of the Committee of Parliament, we were summoned. And we went and started a conversation which has led to working on an MOU, which we are now executing to have the police accompany our licensing officers. So that people out there, because there's a lot of money out there, uh, we have over one billion that is owed by bars and, uh, and restaurants and uh, users of public, of music, corporated music in public places. And if that money was to come, I think we would have distributed over one billion. Right now, as we speak, broadcasters alone, all musicians in areas of over 300 million. Matatu industry have not paid since 2019. But I'm grateful that we, are at, we have at least started with the little that we have collected. And now the ecosystem is aligned. Some of the major retail chains that you see across the country were not paying. Some of them have started on their own. They have come to us and said, we want to pay. And they have started, uh, they have given us a payment schedule. So I can say it's only good news. We have started the year very well. We are bullish about the prospects of the music industry. We, as you know, with the support of the CS, Ababu Namwamba, we rolled out the blank tape levy, which is now collecting under KRI. But these musicians, again, they are also funny. Someone went to court and injected the distribution. You know, because they are used to the narrative of corruption. They, they are used to the money being eaten. So they went to court and injected. So the money is there lying there. We are not distributing it. Secondly, Skiza Tunes, which is the highest uh, revenue source for Kenyan musicians, uh, I think also needs to be looked into so that we also improve collections from that area. So, in other words, the future looks bright. We promised. We are delivering. We have started with the little that we have. We want musicians to support this. Rather than paint all the same narrative and play victim, we're asking them to thank the government, thank those institutions, collaborate, work together with us, and produce quality music that can sell and support their institution. You've seen some of the measures that are being taken in other sectors, including in the political parties where if a musician is not just cantankerous and always harassing, uh, you know, their own... Uh, uh, party, then you go and look for another party. 